perhaps the most infamous ruler in Africa, who destroyed a promising country through his determination to cling onto power. Adored by some, but despised by others in Zimbabwe, although widely admired across Africa as a hero who stood up to the West. 1965, Rhodesia and Ian Smith's white settlers declare independence from Britain, an event that defined Robert Mugabe's life. The black majority resisted racist rule. In the cities and out in the countryside, where a vicious bush war raged for years, Robert Mugabe, a teacher turned activist, emerged from prison as an articulate leader of the independence struggle. We started the war in order to uh, uh, get our country, and we haven't got our country. They did get their country at Lancaster House in London in 1979. And when Zimbabwe celebrated independence, Mugabe, the overwhelming winner of elections, was in power, and soon showing rival liberation fighters what he'd do to keep it. Matabili land in the early 1980s, the opposition crushed, thousands killed in ethnic massacres, atrocities that were barely noticed abroad. They killed the people, they killed the people, they killed women and the pregnant women, they just killed those pregnant women. But there was also much to admire. Robert Mugabe brought education and health to millions of Zimbabweans. Money change. Although later the economy declined and the invasion of white farms in 2000 were a turning point, this time the world did notice. People said that this was going to happen, it was going to turn into a bloodbath, turn into another Congo. Maybe this is it. We're going to have to get out of here. It was a chaotic, destructive process, but Mugabe said he was correcting an old injustice. The land is ours, we give it to whom we please. It's not the business of Britain, you see, to tell us who to give land and who not. Whether those who are given are members of my, uh, my, my party is irrelevant to Britain. By now, the opposition was growing. Despite torture, murder and manipulation, many Zimbabweans seemed ready to throw Mugabe out. They had a new hero, Morgan Changarai, who said Robert Mugabe's early achievements will always be overshadowed by the years of oppression. Do we portray him as the great liberator or do we portray him as somebody who has betrayed the liberation that he fought for? I think the latter will prevail. Uh, because I think his ending uh, does not confirm uh, the legacy built in the earlier years of, of his political life. At one stage, the two rivals ended up in government together, although Mugabe made sure he kept the real power and Changarai later returned to opposition. By now, his wife, Grace, 41 years his junior, had emerged as a political player. And Mugabe, well into his 90s, seemed determined to go on and on. He liberated Zimbabweans, but he also left them his ruinous legacy. Sonny Gallego, Al Jazeera.